since the release of virtual dj 2025 we are able to notice the new updates and the newly added features and of course we cannot talk about all of them at once but the most talked feature i hear every dj is talking about is the stem swap have you tried it yet if not let's try it out together and see what's cool about this thing Today's special shout out goes to Joseph Gil Bay, aka 44 Mist Calls from Liberia, and DJ Hyper from Uganda. It's a pleasure to have you here and welcome to the community. DJ Zako here as always. If you are visiting the channel for the first time, please do me a favor and smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification so that you are not left out whenever I drop a new video like this one. And without wasting much time, let's jump right into it. To start using stem swap you don't need to download any extra add-on only what you need is the latest version of virtual dj 2025 if you don't have yet post the video and go and download it i'll put the link in the description if you already have then stick around now to begin with let's head to the party section and select sampler from here do the same for the other deck also now the next thing we need to do is to move to the browser area and make sure that the sampler section is selected as you can see some of the samplers we have loaded here are now loaded to the party slots. But if this is not what we want, now what we need to do is to create a new sampler bank. And we can do that by navigating to the browser at the sampler section and click up here. You can right click as well, still gives you the same thing. Here you will see the list of all banks you have, those that came with the virtual DJ and the ones you have already created. Right here we only have those that came with the virtual DJ, which include my bank, Audio FX, Drops, I know this, Loop Masters, Videos, per song, which I will show you how it works later in the video. Then Drums, and you can easily choose the one you want to use from this list by clicking on it. The one with the tick on the left is the one which is currently active. But our main purpose here is to create a new bank, so navigate at the very bottom and click New. This window will pop up allowing you to give your bank a name, and you are free to give any name you like. For example, stem swap. Then click OK. The newly created bank will automatically be selected to be active. As you can see here, the name stem swap. And there are no samplers loaded yet. Now, when we look at the sampler part we selected, the upper slots are showing record vocal and the lower slots are showing record beats. Now, the next thing we need to do is to load a song to each deck. But don't just record anything yet. We need to take full control of everything. Recording stem samples with the default settings will not give you the best results. Now let's move to the party section and click on this dot. And navigate to record slots and click on it. This window allows you to combine stem elements that will be recorded in each slot. As we want to record the vocals from the upper slots, do not change anything here. Now at the downer slots, put all the stem elements leaving only the vocals. Do the same for the rest of the slots. And remember whatever you are doing here is being done from the other deck also. And when you are done close out. Now let's head back to the party section and click on this dot for the second time. We still have options like record duration, audio output and trigger mode. But you don't have to change anything with the last two options. Now for record duration you have options like drop, loop manual, loop 4 bits, loop 8 bits, loop 16 bits, loop 32 bits and follow the loop size. I personally like go with the follow loop size meaning the loops to be recorded in each slot will be determined by the loop set from here. As you can see here, right now it is at 64 loops, that's why you see here also, when you change here, the same thing changes from here also. Loop 4 bits up to 32 bits, I know you already know what that means. Now when you choose manual loop, that means you are the one to decide when to stop when you start recording. And the maximum number of bits in manual loop is 32 bits. So you are free to choose from here up to here but not drop because I know you already know what that means. When you are done just click away. Now it is time for us to record our stem samples. Let's start by recording vocals. Then we record beats. Let's do the same for the other deck also. Record vocals. Then we record beats as well. And don't worry it is totally fine to record when the deck is not playing. Now let's check our recorded stem samples. The vocals first. <laughs> Now let's check the beats. Now 
now let's check the vocals for the other deck also. Would you be my number one? Girl, I wanna show you more. Would you be my only one? Let's take the beats as well. Sometimes you may record the same sample like this one. Where the vocals delay a little bit. So now what you need to do is to trim the sample. To do that, first make the sample as this playlist mode if it is good like this by clicking up here. Then navigate to the sample I want to edit and right click. From here move to sample editor. Then drag this trim head up to the point where you want the sampler to start playing. When you are done trimming, save by clicking here. And then click yes. Now let's check our sample again. That seems much better than at first. Do the same for the other samples also if they need trimming. Drag the trim head up to the point where you want the sampler to start playing. Then save it. And hit yes as usual. Now let's check if everything sounds like the way we want. Everything seems to be perfect. To achieve the best results, there are things that you need to do and things that you don't need to do. Let me start with the things that you don't need to do. Do not trigger the stem sampler from the deck which is not playing or from the sampler area while hoping virtual DJ to swap the stems. Let me show you what I mean. What happens here is that Virtual DJ does not swap the stems of the deck you are playing with the sampler you triggered. Instead, it will play that stem sampler as a normal sampler layering on top of the tracker you are playing, instead of swapping the stems. While swapping stems in the deck you triggered from if you were paying attention to the waveform. Now this is what you need to do. Trigger the stem sampler from the deck you are currently playing. Or you can also trigger the stem sampler from the same deck before playing. Let me show you what I mean. Now pay attention to the waveform and the sound. Now if you were paying attention to everything you could notice that Virtual DJ swapped the vocal samples which we recorded from this deck to this deck and muted the vocals from this deck. Now pay attention when I play this song and trigger the vocals which we recorded from this deck from here. <laughs> What happens here is that Virtual DJ mutes the vocal for this song and swaps with the recorded vocal samples. Now let's swap the recorded beat samples from deck 2 to deck 1. <laughs> Now 
what I don't know when he gave out to the waiter. But what the motherfucker was a good at that hook. Did you get it? I want you to listen to the tea. Oh, we don't know what to do. Could not play me, but what way to be? Where 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 to be? If you are really paying attention to the waveform and the sound, then you really understand what's going on here. The cool thing about this is that the recorded stem samples can be swapped with any song which is compatible. Now let's load another song and demonstrate this. Now let's first swap the vocals. Now let's swap the beats. When you stop the stem sample and the track is still playing, Vachiri J puts back all the stem elements for that track. But something to keep in mind is that there are only 8 practical stem samples due to the limitations of the pad. So if you are planning to record many stem samples for various songs, that means every time you want to record a stem sample, you have to create a new bank. As we are winding up, let me show you how per song bank works. After loading per song bank here, you will notice that the recorded samples have disappeared from here. So now we are free to record new stem samples like the way we did before. But these ones they only be available when the particular song with the recorded samples is loaded to the deck. Now let's first record for this song and load another song and see what happens. Now when we load another song they also disappear. When we record like this. And load another song they also disappear. But when we load the same particular song they also come back. So that's how per song bank works. The results you can get from this depends on your graphics card. If it can allow you to use Stems 2.0, the better results you get. Now it is your time to get out there to be creative and start doing some mashups. That's all for today's video. If you have any questions related to this, don't hesitate to ask. I'll see you in the next one.